and the price is mind-blowing for something like this and it claims that it will be faster than x1c it's accurate i didn't have any problem with it but only two small problems hello it's Ali. welcome to the channel we have a new printer to unbox today and test it out here we have century carbon from elgo which is core xy 3d printer just like bamboo labs x1c and h2d which it will be closed printer you can do heat resisting material printing asa abs all these things so we're gonna unbox it and see what we have and the price is mind-blowing for something like this and it claims that it will be faster than x1c and the price is 299 which you can't beat that but we will see how good the quality will be and how fast it will print with the quality that we want Here we have the user manual, here is the glass which I will take it with the foam and now the printer. I really like the combination of colors and these textures. Alright, let's take these foams out. Okay, this one was here. I believe it should be the cables and all these things. Yeah, it's the cable, the screen, side spool holder, tools, test print filament, glue stick, and some grease for the rods, Allen key, and screwdrivers. And here's the cable. Alright, from here, you're gonna have to check the manual if it's your first time using printer. We have three screws which holding the build plate during shipping so it doesn't damage. So we will remove it and then we will put the screen on and also take these out from the extruder. And finally, we have the glass. All right, now we're gonna give it some time to do self-checking and also after that, we're gonna do the update. All right, let's take the build plate out. The build plate size is 256 by 256 and the Z also 256. It has two sides. This side is A and this side is B. This side you can use it for PLA, TPU, ABS, PETG and carbon fiber filament. And this side only for PLA. It has to be around 30 degrees Celsius. Now we're going to take this off and put it back and I'm thinking can we use Bamboo Labs X1C Carbon's bed it's the same size also the same shape so let's try it I have a feeling we can so let's take this one out and try it here's from Bamboo and if we put it on each other it's a bit different here from the side this one is a bit longer but we're gonna try it anyway it sits but we have some space here which doesn't cover that but with this one it's a bit longer from the sides but yeah if I want to use a textured one which I have like carbon fiber texture we can use that but yeah it was a good thing to test out. We also have stars for adhesion this one is five stars and if we touch it it feels like a sandpaper and on this one it's three stars which is a bit softer. All right, the assembling and setting it up is done. Let's talk about some of the specs of Century Carbon 3D printer. So the build volume is 256 millimeter cube. The nozzle reach up to 320 degrees Celsius, which you can print ASA, ABS, and all these 3D printed filaments. And when you're printing these filaments, the fume comes out from the printer will be toxic. So that's why 
We have a HEPI filter over there. The bed will reach up to 110 degrees Celsius. We have auto bed calibration, camera for the time lapse. For this moment, this 3D printer is a single color 3D printer, but Elgus plan to release a multicoloring unit that will be connected with the Centuri Carbon, which we will get update very soon. The spool holder is here, and the filament runout sensor is here. I hope it's not gonna make any sound because it's a bit wobbly and we will see while printing and there's another thing the poop shoe in the same side of the filament so if you are printing a poop shoe duct and bring it here it will be a bit problem because on the bamboo lab x1c it comes on the side and we don't have a problem with the spools inside the 3d printer is a bit dark and if we put the light on it's still a bit dark for time lapse but we will try it and if I see it's still dark for time lapse, I will 3D print a riser which I found online. So many creators did that. And keep in mind the light being upgraded, it was here and it was dimmed, and now it's over there. Now we will send some files to the 3D printer and test out, even though we have some files here, but I never use these presets file for testing a new printer. I will send my files, which I will send one of them as a phone holder which it is a print in place and it will be a good test for new printers this video is sponsored by PCBWay PCBWay offering 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding so if you are like me and working on custom design and want to 3D print it without having headache and fail at print head over to PCBWay.com so I send most of the files to PCBWay to be 3D printed from the chassis to glasses headlights and also the exhaust to be 3d printed with metal so in the next video we will get the package with all these 3d printed parts pcbway's link in the video description box below for more information thanks to pcbway for sponsoring this video Alright, it's working and look at that speed, it's very fast and that thing not making sound which is really good. Alright, the print came out really good and I didn't have any problem with this, even the tolerance is very good. Now we're gonna find a file and send it to the printer. There are so many creators on MakerWall and making fully 3D printed cars. So we're gonna find something like this and then I will use it for my project.
All right, it's been after a week. I'm using Elgo Century Carbon and I used all these filaments for 3D printing these. And I will go over them one by one. The first 3D print is the jack, which is functional and it has gear in it. It has to be accurate, otherwise it's not gonna work like this. So here are the filaments I use. This is PETG, CF, PLA Plus, TPU, Clear PETG, PLA Silk, Matte PLA. So this one uses PETG CF, Silk PLA and Normal PLA and it came out really good. I found this model on Maker Vault and it came out really good and I used 1.6 millimeter layer height. Everything being 3D printed on Elgo Century Carbon except the grill because the grill is multicoloring and at the moment this Century Carbon can 3D print multicoloring so I used Bamboo Labs H2D for the grill. But for the headlight I could stop it here and swap the filament and start again. So with the headlight it's possible but with the grill it wasn't possible. Alright moving on the lamp the reason I printed this lamp because it uses multi-filament this is clear PETG it's durable and also transparent the base is silk PLA and I gave it fuzzy skin and it came out really good and the legs has these small pieces which is printed with TPU so it doesn't make any sound when you put ink on the table and this is normal PLA next which is this phone holder it's a printing place and I didn't have any problem with the tolerance so while printing all these things I was working on my project as well so I test printed the windshield to see if it's correct and then after that we're gonna print it with clear resin which it will be in the upcoming videos let's test out the windshield so the windshield will be fastened on with four screws and yeah the measurement is correct and it sits perfectly so I test printed for the trunk glass as well and all came out really good and I'm thinking to put a camera over there and drive it maybe in the rain it will look cool. Alright so final conclusion what I think about this 3D printer well it's fast it's accurate I didn't have any problem with it but only two small problems which we can modify it and fix it the light is not good if you are thinking to take a time lap and post it like me it's not gonna be good so I'm thinking to 3d print a riser and put LED light there and it will make it better for time lapse and the second thing the fan at the back is very loud so if you are running this printer next to your bedroom you will hear it for sure but on the screen I found we can turn it off so that's why I had to turn it off because it was loud and after that I didn't have any problem with the sound. So if you are thinking to buy a 3D printer for a good price $2.99 which you can't beat it and you can 3D print all these material with it without having any problem or maybe it will be next 3D printing farm printer whether if you are running a business or making your own model. Currently they are running a discount for the Christmas I'll make sure to put the link in the video description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.